hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well because i'm doing great as you guys can see so in today's video i'm going to be talking about why men cheat okay why people cheat let's not say men it's not only men that cheat okay because women cheat as well why people cheat and i'm going to be talking about two particular stories that have been trending recently and that is about adam levine who is the lead singer of Maroon 5. Adam Levine is also a host on um, the, the Voice. Yes, he's a host on The Voice. He's a popular singer. He's very rich and all that and all that and all that, okay? And he is married to Behati Prince Lu. Or, well, Behati, okay? He's married to her. She's a supermodel. She has two kids already and she's pregnant with a third. Recently, it came out that Adam Levine has been cheating on his wife with instagram models okay according to him he has not done anything with them like he has not physically done anything with them he has only been inappropriate with them in their dms you know it's even it, it went to a, a new low a new low i never knew existed which was him telling one of his instagram models that he's going to name his son after her okay she has a unique name her name is sumner not summer okay sumner so he was like, hey, heads up, I'm going to name my son Sumner. And the lady was like, oh no, you didn't. Oh no, you're not gonna, okay? And then she came out and blew the whole thing out, saying that a friend of hers wanted to leak it um, to the press and get paid for it. So she decided to leak it herself. All right, sis. Now the next story is about Ime Udoka, okay? From the name, you know he's a Nigerian. He's an American Nigerian or Nigerian American. Okay, and he's a basketball coach, like he's a American basketball coach. Okay, so he's not a poor person. He's quite rich. He's quite famous, you know. Um, yeah, so America, um, Ime Udoka was not married, but he was in a partnership with Nia Long. Nia Long is an American, African-American actress, very beautiful woman. You know, she has a son. I don't know if her son is for him, but she has a son or they have a kid together. I don't think, I think he's also, anyway, just know that she's a very beautiful actress. She's successful. She's all of that. And yeah, did I mention that Adam Levine's wife is a supermodel? Okay. I think I mentioned it. Okay. Okay. Like not a, not the type that's, oh, she was a supermodel in the nineties and now she's fat and ugly. No, she's still supermodel material even now. Okay. <laughs> and I'm putting all these things in context because I'm guessing somewhere. Okay. Now, Imer's own came out that Imer has been cheating on, on Nia with, you know, married women, single women, women in the, in, the, in the team, you know, and stuff like that, okay? So, a lot of people came out and were like, what do these men want? It happens all the time, okay? Anytime there's a big scandal about a man cheating, people always come out and be like, what do men want? His wife is so pretty. His wife is so successful. His wife is so this. Why do men cheat? What is wrong with men? Blah, 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 blah. Again, like I said, it is not exclusive to men. Women also cheat, okay? It's just that women used to cheat with sense, I think. Or women, it's easy to not catch women because they know how to hide it. But women cheat, men cheat, right? But I'm talking about, you know, men basically because I'm talking to you ladies, right? Most of you are ladies that watch me. Whenever there's a story like that breaking in the, in the news, people are always like, oh my God, the wife is this, she's so nice, she's so loving, she's so that. We know about the Yule Duce story, okay? The wife is so this and that and that. Why are these men cheating? What is wrong with men? Then you see the ones that come to defend and say, men are polygamous in nature. Men, sh we should go back to our olden days of marriage. The white man brought... I, I saw that excuse one day and I was just like, come on, go and sit down. People don't even use your head to think, okay? A man was saying, oh, the white men brought their own method of marriage to us of one man, of monogamy, okay? Of one man, one woman. And yet, they don't even stick to it. Blah, 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 blah. We need to go back to our olden days of allowing men to marry more than one wife of alignment i'm just like all of you should just keep quiet you know why it does not stop anything a man that wants to cheat is going to cheat okay the reason now that's of my video the real reason why men cheat is because they can point blank period that's all nothing else you want to say will counter what I just said. You might add to it, but you're not going to counter what I just said. The only reason why men cheat is because they can. Ada, uh, what's his name? Solomon in the Bible, with all the wives he had, he still had concubines. Okay? And if you don't know what a concubine is, a concubine is basically a concubine. Basically, a, 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 an outside uh, <laughs> relationship. Okay? She's not a wife, right? So, 
The reason why men cheat, and, and it's not about whether the men, the wives know or not, no. The reason why men cheat is because they can. And talking about the wives knowing, let me tell you something. A lot of these women who are married to popular um, men, you know, rich men. We've had this argument before on Adan Nello, okay? A lot of women who are married to wealthy men, I mean the top 1% of the population, the, the rich of the rich, okay? A lot of them know what they signed up for and they know that their men are cheating. The only thing that makes it bad for them is when this man get caught in the media. When it gets publicized in the media, that is when these women now try to pull back and now try to act like, oh my God, I'm so hot, I'm so disturbed, I need to just take a break from him, okay? In most cases, and I'm telling you this thing as facts, in most cases, these women know what their husbands are up to, but it is what they signed up for. They turn a blind eye to it. They just tell him not to disgrace the family, especially when these men are wealthy and powerful, okay? It is what it is. The more wealthy a man is, the more powerful a man is, the, ten the more the tendency for him to cheat and cheat very well. That's because he can. What stops a man from cheating is not even love for his wife. I'm telling you, it's not love for his wife because human beings are warped. A man that can cheat on his wife from today to tomorrow can honestly, in fact, he will pass a lie detector test if they ask him whether he loves his wife. He will pass it in flying colors if he says yes. Because in his heart, he believes that he loves his wife. But, you know, he just has to get something on the side because he can. So, as a woman, I'm telling, I'm bringing this topic to you guys. I'm talking about this now because as a woman, I don't want to see you blaming yourself if you hear that your husband cheated or your boyfriend cheated. I don't want to hear that crap about, oh my God, maybe if I was, if I was more loving, if I was more clean, if I was more beautiful, if I wasn't overweight. If, let me tell you something, you can be the skinniest. I mean, look at the examples that we just gave. Okay, one is white, one is black, one is Nigerian, one is uh, American. This one, his wife is exotic. The, the... Uh, supermodel she's like, i don't know where she's from but i don't think she's like she's not like um pure white or something i don't know where, she, where she's from but she's all these exotic people okay exotic in quote not in a bad way okay she's she's a supermodel she has kids for him if she has girls she's, she's giving she's pregnant with a boy so it's not like oh she, he was looking for a boy of course that's not what it is okay americans don't care about that thing that much okay so she has everything um, look at them, um, Imez's own case. Nia Long is beautiful. She's one of those women, she's not young, okay, him too is not young anyway. She's not young, but she's one of those women that even in their, in their, is she not in her 40s? Let me look for her picture because it's like, uh, I'm getting something wrong. Let me know for her bio. Ime Udoka is 45, right? Nia Long is 51, okay? At 51, I, you see me thinking she was in her 40s. At 51, she's still hot. She's still beautiful. She's successful. So it's not people that say, oh, God, 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 can't get something doing. If not, the man will not respect you. It's not about getting something doing. I say this over and over again. A man that will not respect you will not respect you. Anyhow, you want to do it. <laughs> he will not respect you. It's not about getting something doing. I'm not saying otherwise you can get something doing. I'm just saying, don't think that you are getting something doing so that when, when a man meets you, you will now present that your thing doing as something he uses and respects you. He's not going to respect you because of it, okay? Because a successful man is not looking for your money. That's just the truth. For those of you that want to marry a rich man, you want to marry a top 1% man, he's not looking for your money. He's rich enough, okay? They don't, a rich man, you see, some people say things like, oh, if you want to land a rich man, you have to be a rich man yourself. It's a lie. All these things are things that people like to say that is like fantasy to them so that they can justify some of the choices they made in life. If you want to make money, make money for yourself. Don't make money because you want to attract a rich man who will respect you because you've made money. No! It's not, it doesn't work that way. Rich people, they don't care about, rich men don't care about your money. It's actually broke men that care about your money. Or men that are not going anywhere, you know, quick. They're not, they're not really going high in life. Those men are the ones that care about your money. They care what you bring to the table. Rich men don't care what you bring to the table. They just want you to look pretty. They just want your body, they just want to look, just be pretty. That's why you see a lot of rich men marrying women that you just be like, okay, she's just a pretty face. Yes, that's what he wants. He wants that pretty face. And he will still cheat on that pretty face, mind you. He will still cheat on the pretty face, okay? So, all I'm trying to say is that people cheat because they can't. It's not because the woman, because some people even use it to castigate other women. Oh, the reason why her husband cheated on her is because she's a, she's a, she's a stay-at-home mom, always time rapper, smelling of ogiri. She does not even have money. It's a lie. That's not why the man cheated. Because as he cheated now, did he stop her from being a stay-at-home mom? As he went to cheat with his colleague now, did he stop his wife from smelling like ogiri? As he went to cheat now, did he stop her from, you know, looking good and looking pink? No. So he did not cheat because his wife is like this. So let me go and cheat. 
So that, no, or oh, she didn't give him peace of mind. That's why he went to cheat. Okay, now that he has cheated, has the woman given him peace of mind? Has his cheating now made her give him peace of mind? So people cheat because they can. They give excuses for why they cheat. Okay, they always come up with all these excuses. But I'm like, okay, if all these things were happening, if all these things were a problem to you, why didn't you let the man go? Why didn't you let the woman go? Wouldn't it have been simpler for you to let her go so that you can now marry the one that you want? Because some men actually have affairs for years with a particular person. So wouldn't it have been easier for you to let your wife go if she was that terrible, if all these reasons are the things that pushed you outside? Wouldn't it have been easier to let her go and then marry someone else that will now, you know, that you will now appreciate in your house? Funny thing is that even if he chases the first wife away and marries his concubine, he will still cheat under his wife, on his second wife now, and marry and, and, and get another concubine, okay? And have another side chick. I have another Ron's girl, you know, that is in, in, in his payroll. So at the end of the day, all these people, all, the reason why people cheat is because they want to cheat. They want it. And they can. They can. They have the resources to, they have the resources to cover it up. I'm talking about, in fact, Adam Levine is even stupid because his own, he was going directly to the girl's DMs. A lot of men are not even on social media, but hey, <laughs> now them cheats pass. Now them cheats pass, they have people that arrange these things for them around their circle. It is a normal thing, right? So I was listening to one guy that was, you know, trying to defend Ime Udoka because Ime was now suspended for one season, um, you know, from being a coach for one whole season, right? And it's a, it's a lot. For you to be suspended for one whole season is a lot because there are so many matches. And, you know, I think they are paid per match or something like that. So there are so many matches that the guy is going to miss because of this scandal. And, you know, the guy was trying to defend him and was saying things like, oh, you know, it was mutual. It wasn't like he used his authority or his... It, there, wasn't a, it, there wasn't a power imbalance, okay, the whole thing. It was mutual. It was... These women wanted to cheat. They, I mean, these women, even the married one, wanted to cheat with Imer. It was a mutual thing. So why was he... And, okay... And the guy also said, that's the guy that was trying to defend the man, also said that this thing happens everywhere. It is a known fact amongst them, amongst athletes, amongst the rich people. It is a known fact that many of them cheat. It is quite common. It is normal. <laughs> it is normal for many of them to cheat. So the guy, when the guy was saying this, thing, I was like, Yes, people were, were bashing him and all of that, but it is what it is. He's saying the truth. It is quite normal for a lot of people to cheat. A lot of men are cheating more than we think. Okay, now, do I believe that all men cheat? Capital no. I'm always going to fight that thing to the end of days, okay? Not all men cheat, because if you say all men cheat, then that means all women cheat. Point bank, period, okay? You cannot come and give me excuses why not all women cheat, but not have excuses why not all men cheat. No, 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 no. If you say not all, if you say all men cheat, then all women cheat, then it's a human thing, okay? Because there's nothing like, oh, the way men are wired. I mean, can't sit down. How are they wired? How exactly are they wired? You think women are wired differently. You think we too, we don't like good things, or we don't like shiny things, we don't like uh, shiny men, or we don't have means of missing shiny men and, you know, getting down. In fact, it's easier for a woman to cheat, okay, because her money is not even going anywhere. In fact, she's going to get money for it if she wants, you know, money for it, okay? So nobody's going to give that excuse of all men. She's not all men cheat. Some men want to make heaven the same way some women want to make heaven, okay? Anyway, moving on. But a lot of people cheat. A lot of men cheat, right? As a woman... If you have a cheating husband, I see women that go and fight. There was a case of a woman that went to go and fight or was chasing her husband and his mistress and she had an accident and died. And I'm just like, so when you reach heaven now, when you reach heaven's gates, when, when you reach the judgment throne and they ask you, why are you here? And they table your matter. It will now be, you were in a chase. You were chasing your husband and his mistress and then you killed yourself. Because that's what it is. You killed yourself. Whenever your husband cheats do not, or your partner cheats, do not blame yourself. It is nothing you did. Okay? You can have the biggest bomb bomb in this world. Your husband will decide that, you know what, I don't even like big bomb bomb again. I want flat bomb bomb. Yes. So it's not about, oh, let me go and do bomb bomb. Let me go and do body. Let me go and try and maintain my shape. Let me show that my husband will not cheat. No, my sister, don't even deceive yourself. Imagine living a supermodel and going to cheat with Instagram, Instagram thoughts that has an OnlyFans page. Imagine, just imagine that. Like, imagine that. Imagine the insults. Living a woman that has your kids, the mother of your kids, a supermodel, an accomplished woman, you know, has everything she, even in her lungs case, okay, is, has everything a woman should have, like, you know, looking peng. It's not about looks in this case. Say, oh, men are, are driven by what they see. It's not about looks in this case because the women, their wives look, you know, their partners look good. So it's not about that. 
It's about because they are not satiable. They don't, they're not content with what they have. They want, they, they, can, they want to cheat because they can. That's just it, okay? So, do not blame yourself. Do not think that there's something you will do to stop a man from cheating on you. There's nothing you can do in this world to stop your husband from cheating on you. There is, listen to me, open your ears and listen. There is nothing you can do as a woman to stop your husband from cheating on you. You see people say things like, oh, pray for him, pray for him. Yes, pray for him, oh. Pray for him, maybe he will change. But while you are praying for him, can you at least excuse yourself from that relationship? Can you at least give yourself space? Can you give him space to change? Can you give him the opportunity to change? Okay, that's if it is a deal breaker for you. Again, like I said, cheating is not a deal breaker for so many people, especially those married to very wealthy men. Cheating is not a deal breaker for them because they know what they are there for and they are getting what they are there for. So as long as you don't embarrass the family in public, as long as you know, people are not calling for me to leave my husband, they're going to be dead to the end of time. The only thing you can do is to help yourself, okay? Help yourself by, you know, being pro pro proactive and protecting yourself and, you know, getting as much as you can get on the guy in terms of finances if it's what you are there for, okay? Get as much as you can get, focus on your children, focus on your family, focus on your, on your career. But if you think that focusing on your career or... Because there are many women who are actually the breadwinners in their home. They are accomplished women. They are the breadwinners in their home. Their husbands are carrying their money and going to... To, to, to sponsor a, a side chick's life, okay? You will see men who their wives are actually taking care of them. They will drive their wife's car to go and pick up their side chick. So when people say all these things, I'm just like, which world do people live in? Why people living in fantasy world thinking that as a woman, your worth or a man, a man should respect you only because of what you have? No. It's even women that respect men because of what they have. It's women that even fear men or, or you know, Stop not cheat because of what a man has. Anyway, I didn't intend for this video to be too long. I'm even getting angry self talking about this topic. But let me know your, your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know why you think men cheat, okay? Because if you have another reason, let me know. Because for me, there is no reason at all. It's just because they can. And once they can, they will do it if, if, if they want to. The only thing that holds them back, in my own opinion, is just the fear of God or sickness. Maybe they can't. <laughs> Which is, yeah, they can't actually. Enjoy yourself and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.